on here. Okay, so setup wise is the kind of the main thing we're going to focus on now. You can see here at the start when we were sort of look at your initial swings, you had what I call a classic capital Y setup. Club shaft basically to the middle of your body, left arm tucked in the shadows there, sort of underneath, yes, yeah. your head sort of tilted to the side. Everything there that's a sort of classic position that's going to mean your lower half now is going to be forced to slide. And once you were sliding here now, it's very difficult to get back to the golf ball. It's going to cause you to get over the top. And with that grip, the club's going to be coming back into the golf ball pretty much open. So now you're going to try and put some fix into that, which means either swinging the golf club to the left, coming over the top, hitting the ground behind the ball, rolling your arms all of the above, and generally was causing a lot of variety in contacts, specifically off the heel inside the part of the club. And again, as we asked you at the start there, where do you think the club's coming? The shot's been struck off, and you were like, oh, it's the toe. And then yeah. we get the two balls side by side. Oh, hang on, wait, both. Yeah. What happened there, kind of magic oh. trick, yeah. It just showcases then. So you were trying to fix a fault that wasn't a fault yeah. before you even fixed this fault at source, yeah? So you're setting up as you were on this left-hand side and that capital Y that's going to encourage you to heal it. You're now trying to not tow it from a setup that's going to cause too much heal. It's just, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a downward spiral, yeah? So the setup focus now, and this is, again, this is like a not slow motion version, but a sort of very robotic one to two to three to four way of doing it. Over time, it will get to a stage where I can just sort of throw you a gold club and you, boom, boom, and you just get there, yeah? yeah? I think in the first month, before now, before Portugal, yeah? Practice this setup, feet yeah. together with the club down, and the first thing is just get that done first. Once you've got that, we're at a good starting point. If the hands get back here somewhere, you're now already on the back foot to start with the case. So yeah. get that first bit correct. Almost saying, okay, lead arm club, is that in straight line? Yeah, okay, can I see the CK on my glove? Or whatever, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so once you've established you've got that, then the next phase is gonna come in. And again, the feet sometimes got a little bit active in moving, they're less active now. The next thing now is get this right hand on your leg. People are often sort of, so I'm to try and hit the boy, but they bring the hand forward, it brings the shoulder there. We've got to make sure that that hand goes on there and then it slides your shoulders down. So you get your right shoulder in that tilt that we talked about, which is now going to help you create the lower case Y that we're looking for. So when the hand comes on here now, you're like, oh my God, I'm miles behind the boy in my head. But at this point you are, but then when your feet move, yeah, and you get sort of shuffled into position, yeah, your head now, if we sort of take a line from sort of the middle part of your head, and your head again is in line now with your spine nicely, but that's sort of roughly the middle of your head there now. Yeah. That's where your head is now. Hang on. There you go. There's the golf ball. Yeah. You're not that not far behind the ball. Initially, when you first stood there, you thought your head was over here somewhere. Yeah? yeah. And that's when you first said, how the hell am I going back to the golf ball? So the first couple were a bit thin because obviously you're reacting to that new setup, okay? But getting in that... Go away. Getting in that lowercase Y for me is a massive difference. It's change your grip without changing your grip. Yeah. yeah. You're just holding the club in a different position relative to the body, okay? So it's change your grip and therefore the club face, which is why we're getting more of a draw now. Yes, I think the lower half still does slide a little bit, but that's kind of innately ingrained into you. We show you some of those practice moves you can do at home, just up against the wall there, just getting the feel of that right hip. And you're seeing some of these shots now. The path is changing because you're rotating around the corner more, not sliding. But at the moment, when you go and play golf, spend 100% of your time now on that setup. Because yeah. if that setup's poor, it's irrelevant how good you try and swing it. Because if you're in a poor setup and a good swing, you get a poor shot. Yeah? Yes. So if you get the setup good, you got a chance. Yeah. Good shift onto the front side. And we're now starting to find more of a sort of strike of the golf ball and where that ball wants to go. I say part of the reason why summer hooker, you can see the impact there, that ball's just about to blur. See your hands are back here. That's one of the ways you're trying to square the club face up before, which is kind of what you did. But that eventually, when you start seeing some blocks go to the left, the same way you put this into your game to fix it going right, the hands will just start moving forward to fix it going too far left. But that will happen more naturally rather than trying to think about every single stage. Yeah? yeah. So you take the thinking out of it, you're focusing more on the setup and the static things, which again, you did it pretty good. And we'll see how you do now in a second after like a four or five minute gap and see if you go straight back into it or do we migrate back more towards that, that left hand one. But does that kind of make sense yes. with the process? Yes. Yeah. So quick summary then, feet together, get the left hand first, then the right hand, then the feet, loose grip pressures, maybe one add on thing to remember there, sort of imagine you say your, your thumbs there on the phone screen, yeah, yeah. squeeze the club nice and loose and then just swing as comfortable as you can. And the swing's decent, there's a good swing there. You can see there's definitely an 18 below handicapper there. Just from that position, you're gonna to struggle to do it, yeah? Okay, mate? Yeah. Good stuff, right, let's have a few shots then and without, see if we can go back into that same good uh, strike we were getting before, okay, mate?